I'm going to show you the decking module. It's simple to use and can be easily manipulated to give you the costings for almost any type of decking you can think of. I will explain a bit more about how you can do that towards the end. First, I'd like you to see how it works. To begin, I need to enter the length and width of the decking I am pricing for. I could put these measurements in the red boxes here, or if I click on the red question mark to the right of the boxes, I get a helpful diagram that I can put the measurement straight into. I will enter 4 linear metres for the width and 5.4 linear metres for the length and click Enter Details. Now I need to enter the height of the posts I will be using. Again, I could enter this into the red cell here, but I will click on the red question mark and put the information into the picture. I will enter 1.4 linear metres for the height. I have allowed a bit extra, as I will be lifting this slightly above the ground. The module has allowed for 33% of the post to be in the ground. I will leave this, but you can change it if you want. There is also the option to add additional posts for stairs, gateways, and so on. I will want one extra post, so I'll enter one here and click Enter Details. If we now look at the pricing sheet, everything I need for my decking has been calculated. But let's look at it in a bit more detail, and I will show you just how accurate, flexible and easy this module is to use. The program is telling me I will need 9 posts at 2.1 linear metres. It's up to me to make sure the material selected is going to be suitable. The default has chosen a 2.1 long post that is 150 by 150 mil, but you can change this. I will leave the post at this size, not for the strength, but more for decorative purposes. The post caps have been calculated. I do not need any fence post spikes, but if you do, tick the box. If you select these, this will reduce the length of the post you require, so make sure you alter your post material accordingly if you choose this option. I'm not going to need the four intermediate bearer posts, so I will untick this box here. The header and bearing joists have been calculated. If I click on the red question mark, the picture shows me the headers will be 18 linear metres. I can also decide which way I want the decking to go, by choosing the direction the bearers are to be laid. I want my bearer to be lengthways, so I'll click this box. I need two bearers, but you can change this if you wish. By clicking on the red question mark for the joists, you can choose which way the joists will run. I will select widthways. The default for the centres is 400mm. I want mine to be 450mm, so I will change this here. I'm also going to enter 2 linear metres for the spacing between the noggins. Let's take a closer look at the decking boarding. I'll click on the red question mark here. In the picture, I can see the gap between the decking boards and the width of the decking board I will use. I am happy with how this is set, but if you want something different, you can alter the sizes here in the picture. If you do this, don't forget to check that your material selection is suitable. If you need any help understanding what these measurements are, click on the blue question mark, and a diagram will help you. Finally, this picture shows us the amount of decking we will need, 149 linear metres, which works out as 26 rows of boards. I want to show you the diagram for the covering on our decking, so I'll click on the red question mark here. It gives a pictorial explanation of the cover edging, cover strips and handrail along with the amounts that have been allowed for in the pricing sheet. The program has allowed for two rows of cover strips, or slats, below the decking. If I click on the blue question mark, a picture shows me more detail of what these are and where they go. Like the picture, I will want three rows of cover strip, so I will enter three here, and the amount of cover strip required changes. At the moment I have three rows of handrail, but I only want two, so I'll change this by entering 2 in this box here. All of the sand, cement, plant, 
waste removal and fixings for my decking have been worked out. If you want to look at any of the finer details of how these calculations have been reached and perhaps change them, just click on the red question mark of the row you are interested in. Here at the bottom we have the totals for the materials, hours, labour, plant and overall total. As I said at the start, it is possible to use this module to price up very complex areas of decking. For example, if you wanted to do a two-tier decking, you would bring in another module, give it a suitable title, for example second tier, and put in the measurements for the other tier. You could price decking with different shapes and levels by bringing in several modules and the decking down, breaking down into sections. So that's my decking complete. I'm sure you'll agree that the ease and efficiency of this module, not to mention the money and time it will save you, makes it a sound investment for your business.